you all are having an amazing balls sunday if you're local i hope you are staying cool because it is freaking nasty stingy hot we were supposed to have gone to the water park uh yesterday me and my sister because little dude doesn't want to go um but female biology took over and kind of ruined that so we ended up at the movies we watched the new tom hardy movie which was really good um not what I expected at all. I hadn't done my research. Usually I'll do research on a movie, especially if it's based on a true story. So I didn't do any research. So I was, I was like, you know, it wasn't what I expected. But I will say, and this is all I'll say about this movie. I might do a review later. Maybe. Um, if y'all care about those things. Um, the lady who plays the lead character lady was amazing. I don't know who she is. I recognize her face, so I'm pretty sure I've seen her someplace. But I'm going to have to Google her and watch everything she's ever done. She carried that movie. She was so, that character. She's so talented. She was amazing in that movie. But anywho, so um, we spent the night. And then this morning we get up and we head over to the bins. And we head over to the store. And I hit pay dirt at the bins. Little dude too. His stuff is in the washer right now. He's some stuffies of old, I swear it looks like a 1980 something, uh, Tony the Tiger. Uh, mascot stuffy uh, we got him and then there's a deputy dog that was in really good condition um, they're in the wash right now and I found a um, Jansport backpack another Jansport backpack it's really pretty the patterns on it uh, if I remember because y'all know my memory is doo-doo if I remember I'll show you guys those things here at the end because they'll probably be in the dryer here in just a bit but um 
I found some things that I just could not resist at the store. Um, so I think I'm going to show you guys that stuff. It's on the other side though. So let's flippy trippy that way. Okay. So we have switch sides. Now this stuff, I really, really liked the stuff I'm about to show you. And I was right at that $5 mark on most of the things that I purchased today. Cause y'all know I try and stay under that. Uh, and then I went way above my price on one thing. And that's because there was no stinking way I was leaving it. I'm going to show you guys that when I show you these few little things. But let me get into these. Now this, um, I saw Metal Scrolly Goodness, guys. And I, they're a base. Achimumas. They're a base. See the little screw holes on top? So I'm thinking there was a shelf up here. And it just hangs on the wall. I couldn't leave these behind. I don't know if I want to use them inside. I don't know if I want to use them outside. I don't know if I want to use make individual little stands or put them both together and put one long shelf across both and use it as a long shelf. But there are two of these. I just love them. Y'all know I'm a sucker for some metal scrolly goodness, guys. And they were each. Oh, that one does have a sticker. They were each. $4.99. Y'all remember the last time I was at Goodwill, everything was $7.99? Well, everything today was $4.99. But I had to have them. I have so many pieces of scrap wood and actual little pieces of wood that were shelves at one point that you slid into a bookshelf. I kept a couple random ones. That'll go perfect on here. So I'm going to have to come out of pocket to complete the project. So I got both of those. I was so excited about those. I really, really love those. I she was. And this little thing was probably the cheapest thing I purchased today. It says faith over fear. And what's funny is when I was in that aisle looking at it, a lady went for it. But I got there first. I want it. Um, I just saw faith. So I went towards it. I don't think she was close enough to read, but it was kind of sticking out. We are both interested in it is the point. And I grabbed it. I'm like, nope, yoink. And then I read what it said uh, once I was safely away from her. And it reads faith over fear. And that's what I absolutely need right now in my life. Faith over fear. And it was only $1.99. Then, I can't stand Texas in the summer. I can't stand Texas in the rain. I can't stand Texas when there's ice on the ground. But I'm a proud Texas girl. Guy, I am. And I saw this, I'm like, no stinking way. Texas made me this way. Sweet, classy, and sassy. Some of y'all might disagree. I don't care. Loved it. It's going to go outside under the eaves where I'm telling you the rain doesn't hit anything. Because that's where I'm, I'm noticing I'm putting all the little wood things uh, uh, that are Texas uh, or southern based or themed I'm putting them around my door and it's just so so you know who lives here when you come up knocking on my door but this one was also $4.99 I'm telling you it was a $4.99 day I wanted to maybe but I think I'm gonna screw it up with the tiniest little paintbrush go over it with some white paint but I'm scared of jacking up the font by doing that so I might just spray some sealer on it in case it rains sideways. Like we sometimes get sideways rain here in Texas. Uh, it won't swell and jack up. But I loved it. And then the only other thing from there for me to show you here is this beauty. You guys, it's a Mikasa crystal clock. And I put a battery in it to test it and it's keeping time. So amazing. Is it keeping time? Yes, it am. It's keeping time so well. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be shined up. And the reason I wanted to get this is because I currently have a really pretty clock in my bedroom on my bedside. That it's probably just cut glass, but I loved the look of it and I thrifted it as well. But it's doing some weird corrosion thing. I don't know if it's a battery. I don't know what's happening to it, but this is like the second or third time that it's done it it has this green stuff around it and it's looking pretty bad um 
but I like the idea of a bedside clock. So when I saw this, I was like, this will go perfect. I'm gonna have to rearrange some of the crystal frames on there because of the size of it. The clock I currently have on there is small. Uh, so I'm gonna have to rearrange my photos to accommodate the size of this thing. But look, and it's a Mikasa, guys. Oh, so pretty. I just, oh, I cannot wait to clean those little sucker up. But it is keeping really good time and it was $4.99 day. So I grabbed that beautiful baby. And then oh, the thing that I'm about to show you, we're gonna have to go upstairs for me to show it to you. Um, my heart skipped a beat. It was so funny because I walked in and I saw it and I recognized it immediately. It's something that I have been wanting from Target forever, for at least two years. But I didn't want to come out of pocket for Target prices. Um, and it was there. And it was in great condition. No stains, no funk, no smell, no nothing. And I grabbed that sucker. And it was a whole $24.99. But it ain't even close to what it costs at Target. So I grabbed it. It slid right in the cart, slid in the car, and it came home. We took it upstairs, and I'm currently trying to arrange it up there, so my room is a mess. But let's go check it out. Look, guys. Ain't she beautiful? I have wanted this chair since I saw it at Target maybe two years ago. And they have similar ones still. But... When I saw this there, there was no way I was leaving it. There wasn't even a thought. I just grabbed it and it slid into the cart and it slid into the car. So it was meant for me. So stinking pretty. I had a chair here. So that um, explains all this nonsense going on here. I have to move stuff around to uh, bring it in. But it's so pretty. My little sitting nook. My little sit nook. I'm so happy, guys. I love it, love it, love it. There's the chair I had in place of the new one. I love this chair. It's a baby blush. It's a blush pink. I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of tell. I love this chair. It's very, very comfortable. Now I'm going to have to find a new spot for it because I'm not getting rid of it. I love the style of it. I love them skinny little legs. <laughs> Forgive the mess. Uh, got a little laundry here. Here's my keyboard, guys. I'm relearning the Piana. Relearning the Piana. I played Piana for five years as a tween. I think from the ages of uh, eight until. Um, I played the Piana. Recitals and everything, guys. Um, I can still read music, but I'm not coordinated enough with the fingers to play anything worth the crap i still have the ear for it so i know where to hit i just don't have the coordination to like play a whole song but um yeah i was trying to relearn this was in little dude's closet forever for the longest and ever but uh yeah i think i'm gonna retire it because i'm not giving myself much time to do anything with it uh but i need to put it back either in the closet or set it in the garage i think i'll put it back in the closet uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you all the catastrophe that is the room right now as I am moving in my beautiful chair. Since I'm up here, let me show you the clock that crystal clock is going to replace. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this green stuff around it? At first I thought it was the battery, but I checked the battery and there's no corrosion on the battery. But around it is kind of odd. But the battery itself is perfectly fine. But something weird, y'all see that, is going on in there. The battery is fine. So, I don't know if this is toxic or what. So, as much as I really like this clock, I drifted it as well. It's got to go because this isn't the first time this has happened. I've cleaned this green stuff off of it twice. So... I think it's going to go in the trash. I don't want to re-donate it because I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but when I thrifted it, it was perfectly clean. There was none of that black stuff in there. But you see the black on the out inside is the same as this black. So I think it's definitely reacting to the battery itself, even though the battery is fine. So <sighs> as pretty as it is, and it removes, it comes out of the little... Uh, it can't now. It's been in there a while. But this comes out of here. You just nestle it in there. But that's why I was so excited. Oops, there's already a chip on it. That's why I was so excited about finding that um, crystal one. Because 
I like a clock on my bedside table and um, I have a replacement now. Ah, uh, so you guys, I am so, so, so excited about that. I can't wait to sit there and just feel pretty, just feel fancy in my chair. I'm so excited. So let me show you guys now the stuff that we picked up at the bins. Hold on, because um, the little things that I was washing for little dude are out of the washer. I'm going to air dry them. I don't trust them in the, in the, in the dryer. But they were each a dollar ninety nine. Now, I know he ain't the real deputy dog, but he has a belt buckle and he has on cowboy boots. So, he's some kind of Texan. I don't know why I thought he had a badge. I don't know who this little guy is, but he's adorable. He's a Texas hound. He's a Texas hound dog, and he was just adorable. And little dudes seem to like him. So, he's nice and washed and smelling fresh, and I'm going to let him air dry because I'm worried that his neck is gonna break in the dryer or just you know get all flippity floppity but that's him and then Tony <laughs> Isn't he cute he's adorable with his old tag it's all faded you can't even read anything um but he's an older guy he's a little older guy really cute for $1.99 you get a real deal uh little mascot can't go wrong with that so there's that. Now let me show you guys what I grabbed. Let me sippy sippy my awita. I'm out of awita. Let me show you guys what we grabbed at the bins. Little dude found this neato faux musket. Um, I mean, it just it's just a little wood handmade little musket he thought it was cool I need to put a little screw in here because you see I need to put a screw in there but he thought it was neat and so did I honestly I'm like grab it so he grabbed that I found Ike and Tina Turner working together proud Mary's on this one it's in a little bit of eh condition so it's probably gonna hop and skip and pop but it don't matter honey it's Tina I don't like Ike but it's Tina, and I am a huge Tina fan. I was dang near inconsolable when she passed. And then, Mellow Yellow, Donovan. You guys, I love it. From Epic Records. Mellow Yellow, Rider in the Sun, Sand and Foam, The Observation, Bleak City Woman. House of Janch, I guess I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Young Girl Blues Museum, Hampstead Incident, and Sunny South Kensington. I think I recognize one or two songs, but I like that it's classic music. Not classical, but it's classic music. The oldies, the goodies. Okay. I grabbed this thing. It does work, but the idea that I had for it did not play out. Um, I don't think so. I thought of using this for this. You remember I thrifted this from Thrift Town? I saw it one day, left it, went back, grabbed it. The lamp base that I thought would be cute with this is okay. But it wasn't as cute as I thought it was going to be for me to bring it in and incorporate it in the house or switch out something in the house for. But I really wanted to use this. So when I saw this little lamp, I was like, Oh my gosh, the shiny, the blingy, the crystally. Maybe it'll work. It doesn't. But the lamp is pretty. It's this heavy based glass and acrylic uh, lamp. I hate this. I hate this fake, um, the bulb works. I don't like this fake candle wax thing. But if you take it off, then you just have that. And who wants that? So I might spray paint that silver just to like make it not look like candle wax but the candle the candle the lamp itself works it's very pretty but I thought that would work mm -mm. it doesn't it doesn't work at all it's 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 ridiculous so I'm gonna attach a really pretty lavender um, shade that I have um, I have two actually I'm gonna attach that to this and I might 
might uh, replace one of my little lamps in the bathroom downstairs with this. Um, I don't know, but the lamp itself is really pretty. And I've seen this somewhere. I've seen this lamp somewhere. I just can't remember where. Made in the USA with imported parts. I thought maybe it would say Walmart or Target or something because y'all know that's the only place I go. But uh, yeah, that was the, the idea was to use this for the base, but it didn't. And at the end of the day, this only costs a few cents when you go to the bins. So moving on. A little pot. A cute little pot. This would have come in handy when I tried to repot those little succulents. Um, but it's okay. I'll find something to stick in there. I found this beautiful bell, but the ding-dong is missing. The actual little bell part is missing, so I need to find a little ding-dong to put in there. But isn't that pretty? And I thought I would hang this free outside on a little hook or a branch or something. But I would love to have the little tinkly tinkly in there. I don't need another one. I don't have any more hooks for any more cups. But I loved it. Stressed, blessed, and coffee obsessed. Look at it. And considering they're in the bins, when you find something that doesn't have any chips, any cracks, any breaks, any nick, and it's just the, in this good condition, how can you not? And I ain't gonna lie, I had quite a few mugs in that basket, but I'm like, girl, you ain't got one hook left on my little mug tree. Did I show you guys how that ended up after I stained it? I don't think I've shown you guys. If I remember, I'll show you. I stained it and attempted to add something to the top. Uh, and I kind of like the way it looks, but I didn't attach it very well. It's kind of gutter. I need to, um, I need to fix that. But I'll show you guys if I can remember. But anywho, I don't have any more hooks on my mug tree. So I think I'm just going to slide this under my Keurig. And it'll be ready for coffee. But that was amazing, balls. This little guy, I hate the color, but I think he... I'm thinking I'm going to spray paint him in that spray paint that dries like stone. Just nestle him outside in my plants. But it's a little owly. Look at him. Look at him. I'm sorry if any Native Americans are watching and, and this freaks y'all out. Because I know, you know, culturally and traditionally y'all don't like looking at owls. So I'm so, so, so sorry if, if any of my, 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 my Native American brethren are watching. I'm sorry. Um, but um, it's this owly. That'll be spray painted. And then, it's not. I actually had some of these from the Dollar Tree years ago. The smaller versions. And I think green or blue, I'm not sure. But I loved how these look weathered. So I grabbed all three of them. It's the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil owlies. And these also, I am so surprised that they're not destroyed. Now, what I like about them is how they're made to look weathered and aged. They're made to look, you know, like the stone is exposed, like the paint is chipping. I love that look. So, I got all three of the owlies. And I kind of like them for inside, but I don't have a spot where I think they'd flow. I got metal scrolly goodness in here. I have blue over there. I have lilac in the bathrooms. You know what I mean? I don't have anything that has a lot of white. You know what, I do have white upstairs. I have my Fitz and Floyd birds and elephants upstairs. Now these aren't Fitz and Floyd, but they look Fitz and Floydy. Maybe I'll put them up there. Maybe I'll find some room up there for them or swap out something for them. Yeah, now that I look at them, they could, they could blend in with my Fitz and Floyd um, animals up there. But anyway, so that's that. Found this awesome little pot with a drain hole little glass one um grabbed him or her whatever and then these i couldn't resist i thought about maybe spray painting them but no it's okay they're going to be out in the weather they're going to get more patina they're going to get more weathered and it's obvious somebody had them outside because there's a little bit little bits of uh, web and stuff on it but it's these three now i just realized as i'm looking at it that this one is missing the ring all the other ones have the rings on the handles, but this one must have broken off. But it's these, um, you hang them, and then you stick something in them. And I have the large, the medium, and the small. And 
I know where I want to put them, but I don't know if I'll be able to reinforce them well enough that they're not going to fall or be blown over or fall off the wall. So if I can't put... I'm sorry, there's wasps at my window. That means there is a wasp nest somewhere, and I need to get out there and take care of them. Oh, that's a big one. I caught something. That wasp has a whole something in it. I'm sorry guys, I wanted you all to see the disgustingness. I didn't know that wasps, I mean I know that wasps kill other bugs, but I've never seen it. And the wasp was kind of banging up against the glass, uh, and I saw it with something in its mouth, it's whatever a bee has, and it looked like a spider. And then I noticed that the spider web was all jacked up, and I wanted you all to see the carnage with me. And by the time I got there, it had already flown away. Friggin' wasp just took a spider home for dinner. There's definitely a web out there. That, I mean, a, a hive out there that I'm going to have to uh, get rid of. And before anybody comes for me, but even a wasp is a pollinator. I'm allergic, guys. I ain't trying to die behind no friggin' wasp that I accidentally piss off or I accidentally walk into or something like that. Ew, I've never seen that. Anywho, what were we talking about? Um, about the reinforcing of these little pots. If I can't confidently secure them to the area that I want to secure them on, on the wall, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach them on the fence because everything sticks to that fence. But there's that. And then the only other thing that I picked up was this gorgeousness. And I wasn't going to get it, but it was so pretty. It was so stinking pretty and, and pristine. No chips, no cracks, no breaks. I had to have it, guys. This beautiful picture. Look at that lip. Look at that lip. I had to have it. And it's almost like other shoppers were setting aside breakables in good condition. Like they were setting it aside for, maybe they didn't want it, but they were setting it aside for somebody to come and get it. And this was the case with this thing. Uh, and I put it back three or four times, guys. But then I'm like, no, as I was leaving, I'm like, I want it. But it came out of the store. They were trying to sell it for $7.99, and I guess people were like, really? Everything is $7.99 on $7.99 day? Um, and it didn't sell. I wouldn't pay no $7.99 for it. And apparently, a whole lot of people didn't either, because it ended up in the bins. But isn't that pretty? Can you picture it with lemonade in it or some iced tea with some floaty lemons in it? So beautiful. Or just ice water with little, little crystal ice cubes in it. So pretty. But that's everything, guys. Well, the only other thing I picked up there at the bins is the Jansport backpack. And it is also uh, going to air dry. Some of the stains didn't come off. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of dirty, a little bit of dusty looking. Taneja. Okay, taneja. Uh, but that's the only little spot that didn't come out. I might rewash it again. Put some spray and wash on there and scrub it and rewash it again. But the rest of it came out pretty clean. The only thing, look at that pattern though. The only thing is the leather on the bottom. You know, it's been laid on the ground and stuff like that. And I know you're not supposed to wash leather, but it was filthy, guys. It was filthy. That smoogey up here that's bothering me was all over it. I'm like, y'all don't wash your backpacks. You don't wash your kids' backpacks? You shouldn't let your kid walk around backpack looking like that. But yeah, it cleaned up really well. And I have another Gen Sport in another pretty pattern as well. And I grab them just because it takes me back to the 80s, guys. It takes me back to when we were in school and we had John Sports. But as far as the leather, it's not peeling. It just looks a little beat up. But I have um, markers. You know those markers that you use to fill in chips on your coffee table? The, 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 the variant colored browns? That's what I'm going to use to cover these little tiny spots. But I think I might give this one more wash. And then just let it air dry. I don't trust the dryer. But yeah, it cleaned up pretty darn good. I love that pattern. It reminds me of the transfer wear, the China, that uh, transfer wear, old school China stuff. ¿Qué es eso? Un papelito, a little piece of paper or something. But anywho, that's everything, guys. I'm going to go outside, take care of this wasp. Um, I think I'm going to dump the other little potato pot. Um... I think I'm just going to dump it. It's pretty dead. I think I'm going to dump it and see if we get any potatoes this go around. I ain't going to get my hopes up, but you want to go outside with me? Okay, 
So I was dumping the little potato bag, expecting nothing, right? Look, look guys, look at these. Now this is the seed. That's the seed one that I planted, but look, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys, look. little bitty one. Oh, maybe I should have left him in here longer. Yeah, that's the one I planted. That's the seedling one. So that grew this plant. Okay. Oh, the mosquitoes are eating me alive. Look at that little bitty potato. Okay. There's nothing else here but that little teeny tiny one. I'm pulling that off. It's a tater. Did I get them all? Ew! Ew! My finger. Blech. That's disgusting. That one's a mushy, rotten one. But that was a tater. It's just mushy and rotten. Is that it? Look at my harvest. I wonder if they would have gotten bigger if I had let them go longer, but I don't care. Look at this little bitty one. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. After having been so disappointed with the big bin not doing anything, look. I'm so happy. <laughs> How funny, guys. Oh, I am eaten alive. The mosquitoes got me. But I came out to water my plants. And I asked Big Dude if he cared if I dumped the little one without him because he's busy in there. He goes, no, go ahead and dump it. And I got these. Ooh, y'all hear the cicadas? But I'm about to go in and wash these little babies. I'm so excited. I know it's a teeny tiny itty bitty bit, but still. Que calor. Oh my gosh, today has just been a day of joy. I got potatoes and I got a beautiful chair. <laughs> Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy. Excuse me while I eat ice. It's been a good day. Excuse me. Can't talk to y'all with ice in my mouth. What kind of rude nonsense is that? But I'm going to call it a day, guys. So we've been at it. I am tired. I need to go fix the drama upstairs and figure out what uh, I'm going to make. We're going to probably do an early dinner. Figure out what we're going to have for an early dinner. I still have barbecue left over from Friday. We had a little get together on Friday. Just burgers and dogs, but there's still stuff left. So I think I might heat that up and um, close out our Sunday. But I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys rolled into a fantastic, healthy, happy, non-drama uh, week. And until my next go around, guys, I love y'all bunches. Bye.